The new generation 2019 Subaru Forester with intelligent boxer power is coming with electric technology. Torque News broke the story back in April about a Chinese model, and now Subaru says the new 2019 Forester e-boxer hybrid will be available for pre-order in the Japan market. Subaru released engine specs on the fifth-generation 2019 Forester e-boxer and the SUV will be powered by the newly developed 2.0-liter direct injection engine coupled with an AC synchronous electric motor. Subaru says it will offer improved performance over the standard 2.5-liter Forester boxer. Subaru will use the newly updated 2.0-liter direct injection horizontally opposed engine plus electric technology producing the e-boxer. It will use a lithium-ion battery, and Subaru says it will include SI drive. With the 2.0-liter gas engine coupled with the electric motor, the Japanese automaker says acceleration of the Forester e-boxer will exceed that of the 2.5-liter gas model. The 2.0-liter boxer engine produces 145 picoseconds and 188 newton-meters of torque. The AC synchronous motor produces 13.6 picoseconds and 65 newton-meters of torque. The system is mated to a full-time all-wheel drive system, and Subaru's Lean Artronic CVT automatic transmission. Subaru did not release fuel mileage estimates. This will give the e-boxer a total output of 187 pounds FT of torque. The new 2.5-liter Forester gas engine produces 182 horsepower and 176 pounds FT of torque. Subaru also announced the Forester e-boxer will come standard with X-Mode for extreme off-road use and EyeSight for improved safety. Subaru announced the new 2019 Subaru Forester hybrid model will be sold in China and now the Japan market. It's not clear if Subaru will also bring the new 2019 Forester e-boxer hybrid to US shores. With more conventional styling and a longer range, the redesigned 2018 Nissan LEAF all-electric hatchback is more mainstream and practical than ever. But Nissan missed an opportunity to fix some of its glaring shortcomings. The latest LEAF joins Chevrolet Bolt EV and Hyundai Ioniq Electric in keeping the focus on value and affordability. Plus, the new LEAF has a lower starting price and longer range than its predecessor. But shoppers who want a driving range of more than 200 miles still need to look elsewhere for now, though a more powerful, and more expensive, longer range version of the LEAF is slated to arrive as a 2019 model. When it debuted as a 2011 model, the Nissan LEAF brought the possibility of all-electric driving to the masses. The redesigned 2018 LEAF starts at $30,875, including an $885 destination charge. That's $690 less than the outgoing LEAF. And perhaps best of all, its EPA-estimated driving range has increased from 107 to 151 miles on a full charge. LEAF buyers remain eligible for a federal tax credit of up to $7,500 and many states and municipalities offer separate incentives tied to the purchase, driving, charging and parking of EVs. One of the biggest changes for 2018 is how the LEAF looks. The original LEAF hatchback had a distinctive, bulbous shape that was different from most everything else on the road, communicating to your fellow drivers that this was not some ordinary gas-powered car. Now, the LEAF could be mistaken for one of Nissan's conventional hatchbacks. Even if you're new to electric cars, the LEAF's driving experience should seem familiar, and, apart from a few unique characteristics, rather ordinary. In its normal drive mode, the LEAF accelerates smoothly and builds speed quickly enough. Other editors thought the Bolt EV felt quicker, but the LEAF doesn't have trouble keeping pace with traffic. The LEAF's braking response is smooth and predictable. However, the suspension tuning is firm, but there is a harshness in its response that is out of place in a modern car. 
The rod can also feel choppy on certain surfaces, like concrete. That said, another editor thought it rode better than the Bolt EV. Nissan says, with the higher capacity battery comes longer charging times. On 220 volt electrical service, the battery takes as little as 7.5 hours for a full charge. On a 110 volt household outlet, it will take about 35 hours. Given the Leaf's significant styling and drivetrain updates for 2018, it's surprising that some of the prior generation's biggest shortcomings remain. Tilt and telescoping steering wheels are commonplace in new cars, but the 2018 Leaf, like its predecessor, still has only tilt adjustment. Meanwhile, the position of the rear bench seat relative to the floor results in an uncomfortable knees-up seating position for adults, as was the case in the old Leaf. Likewise, the huge ledge between the cargo floor and the folded back seat is even more disappointing now than it was in the first generation Leaf. It significantly reduces the versatility of the Leaf's hatchback shape by preventing large cargo from lying flat on an extended floor. Even though Nissan missed a few opportunities, the 2018 Leaf's longer driving range makes it a viable choice for more eco-minded shoppers, where its predecessor wasn't. If you're looking to make the move from gas car ownership to electric car driving, a 2018 Leaf should make the switch relatively pain-free. Subaru's Forester has the distinction of being the longest-running Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS, top safety pick, teaspoon, winner in the small SUV class for 12 consecutive years, 2007 to 2018, and the Japanese automaker is looking to extend that streak with the all-new 2019 Forester. Subaru built the fifth-generation 2019 Forester to deliver significantly higher levels of crash protection according to their press release. It's nothing new for the Japanese automaker as its win streak of top safety picks goes back over a decade. The 2018 Forester SUV extended its title as the longest-running winner in the small SUV category with a record 12th win last year. When equipped with EyeSight, the 2018 Subaru Forester earned the 2018 TLP Safety Pick Award from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS. Look for the new 2019 Subaru Forester to get even better scores once it's tested by the IIHS later this year. According to the Repairer Driven News, Subaru built 56% of the next-generation 2019 Forester body out of high-strength steels which integrates the latest version of the Subaru ring-shaped reinforcement frame design. Subaru touts how they want to be the global leader in overall safety, and they've been developing their EyeSight Driver Assist Safety System since 1999 to move in that direction. The Subaru Corporation uses stereo cameras in the top of the windshield to detect vehicles and pedestrians in the car's path and has been proven to reduce the impact of a collision and can prevent an accident altogether. Subaru's Active Driver Assist ADA, continues to be developed to this day in the new generation EyeSight found in the 2019 Subaru Forester SUV. The system will now be standard on 2019 Albanian Lex Forester models. The 2019 Subaru Forester is built on the Subaru Global Platform with the brand's latest crash energy management design. The IIHS safety tests have proven Forester provides excellent occupant collision protection, and the all-new fifth-generation model should be even safer for consumers when it arrives this fall. According to CNN, there is actually an electric car for the masses, and it comes as no surprise that it's the all-new 2018 Nissan LEAF. With the Nissan LEAF, it's plain and simple you pay less and you get less. But, this is a recipe many Americans need if there is going to be a solid transition to electric cars. Until there are plenty of reasonably priced EV offerings, 
widespread adoption will remain slow. People buy inexpensive cars with adequate performance and subpar cabin materials all the time. This is not always as true in the EV segment, where vehicles are more expensive, and Tesla is the most widely known and followed EV maker, especially in the US. While the Leaf has less range than the Tesla Model 3 and Chevrolet Bolt, you still get a solid feature list for the money. Nissan does a good job of upping the anti-war accounts most and still keeping costs down. CNN says that Tesla has shown that electric car driving can be fun. The reviewer goes on to say that the Leaf is not fun, but fine. He really appreciates the car's one-pedal driving, as well as Pro Pilot Assist, which is a feature usually only available in luxury cars. In terms of the Leaf's visual appeal, it is much more appealing than the outgoing model. However, the interior is reminiscent of a cheap car. Nonetheless, CNN concludes that an electric car like the new Nissan Leaf could work for a typical family. Subaru this summer will introduce its largest model ever, the 2019 Ascent 3 Road Crossover, with space for up to eight passengers and a starting price of $31,995. As usual with Subaru SUVs, the Ascent will come with all-wheel drive and a boxer-style engine. In the case of the Ascent, this is a turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine producing 260 horsepower and 277 foot-pounds of torque. It's connected to a continuously variable automatic transmission with simulated eight speeds that can be manually shifted using paddles on the steering wheel. The cabin of the Ascent can be configured for seven or eight passengers. Standard is the eight-passenger seating, which includes two up front, three on a middle bench seat, and three more on a rear bench. To get the seven-passenger set up, the Ascent can be equipped with two captain's chairs in the middle row instead of the three-person bench. It also comes with Subaru's EyeSight Driver Assist technology, standard on all trim levels. There are four trim levels, starting with the base Ascent 8 passenger model at the $31,995 price, followed by the premium, beginning at $34,195 for the 8 passenger version or $35,655 for the 7 passenger model. The limited $38,995 for 7 or 8 passenger capacity and the Touring, $44,695, with seven-passenger configuration. Although the Ascent is not due to reach U.S. dealerships until sometime this summer, possibly not until July, production of the vehicle began with a ceremony on Monday at the Subaru plant in Lafayette, Indiana. Subaru invested $140 million and said it would add up to 200 jobs at the plant for production of the Ascent. The Ascent replaces the seven-passenger Tribeca crossover in Subaru's U.S. lineup, a vehicle that was introduced as the B9 Tribeca in 2006, later called just a Tribeca, and discontinued after 2014. Tribeca's last version had a normally aspirated 3.6-liter boxer six-cylinder engine with 256 horsepower, connected to a conventional five-speed automatic transmission. The Ascent concept was introduced at the 2017 New York Auto Show. Although it has just four cylinders, the Ascent's engine is powerful enough to tow trailers weighing up to 5,000 pounds along with giving this family-sized vehicle enough power for everyday driving and cross-country touring. Subaru says the Ascent is designed on a strengthened and extended version of the Subaru Global Platform architecture, with extensive use of high-strength steel and a focus on durability, rigidity and vibration resistance. The Ascent is 196.8 inches long, with a 113.8 inch wheelbase and 153.5 cubic feet of passenger volume, along with up to 72.6 cubic feet of cargo space. 
the rear passenger doors open up to 75 degrees for better access to the third row seat. Standard roof rails allow for carrying items such as bicycles and kayaks. Scattered throughout the cabin are eight USB charging ports, and there is a 120 volt power outlet in the rear of the center console for powering up a variety of devices. The cabin also includes 19 Cuban pesos and bottle holders. Other standard features include three-zone automatic climate control with large vents for all three rows. There are reading lights in the second row on all models, and third row lights on premium, limited and touring trims. Also standard are ambient and footwell lighting. Up front, there are power adjustable bucket seats with lumbar support and a length adjustment for the driver's seat bottom cushion. Front and second row heated seats are part of the all-weather package for premium models, but standard unlimited and touring versions, which also have a heated steering wheel. Standard on touring models are ventilated front seats. Other standard features include 18-inch wheels and a four-wheel independent suspension. The Ascent has 8.7 inches of ground clearance for light off-road use. The Subaru Starlink multimedia systems have multi-touch high-resolution display screens and include smartphone integration with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, AHA and Pandora, along with Bluetooth phone connectivity and audio streaming, a backup camera and Sirius XM services. Base models have a standard 6.5-inch touchscreen, while higher trims come with 8-inch Multimedia Plus and 8-inch Multimedia Navigation Systems, depending on the level. In-vehicle Wi-Fi connectivity is available. The Starlink Connected Services brings remote engine start on models with push-button start. Concierge Service Anti-theft vehicle immobilizer with flashing vehicle security lights. Child safety functions including geofencing, speed alert and curfew. And over-the-air firmware updates. A Safety Plus package adds SOS emergency assistance, enhanced roadside assistance, automatic collision notification, maintenance notifications, monthly vehicle health report, and diagnostic alerts, while the Safety Plus and Security Plus upgrade package tax on stolen vehicle recovery service, vehicle security alarm notification, remote lock unlock, remote horn and lights, and remote vehicle locator. Advanced safety features included on all models are automatic pre-collision braking, adaptive cruise control, lane departure and sway warning, pre-collision throttle management, and the new EyeSight Assist Monitor, which adds a head-up display of the EyeSight system warnings as well as system status information on the windshield in front of the driver. Optional are blind spot detection with lane change assist and rear cross traffic alert. Adaptive headlights are standard unlimited and touring models, and high beam assist automatically activates and deactivates the bright lights. The Ascent also offers reverse automatic braking, which can apply the brakes if an obstacle is detected while backing up. Touring models come with the new front view monitor, which gives a 180 degree view of the front of the vehicle on the multi-function display by using a camera in the front grille. Also standard on touring is the smart rear view mirror which displays a view from behind the vehicle from a camera mounted above the rear gate glass. Rain sensing windshield wipers are also included on touring models. The Limited adds leather upholstery, LED steering responsive headlights with high beam assist, LED fog lights, second row retractable sunshades, and 20-inch aluminum alloy wheels in dark grey with all-season tires. Touring models come with most of the premium features, along with satin silver side mirrors with integrated turn signals, chrome door handles, chrome front underguard and rear bumper protector, unique Java brown leather seats and upholstery, upgraded leather steering wheel, and wood grain pattern matte finish accent trim.